And the thing is, <coughs> just like every other science, you know, and uh, study, you have to develop yourself. Huh? That's why the Buddha say, rely on yourself and no one else. Hmm? Uh, of course, we say to see the Buddha is very rare and a greatest blessing. That this is hundred of thousand aliens, you won't have one. You know what I mean? Not once in a lifetime, but once in many lifetimes, you would see a Buddha. Probably the Buddha is in front of you, but you don't see. That's the difference. <laughs> you know what I mean? Many people see, but they don't stare. <laughs> they don't see anything. They probably look, but they don't see. Yeah? They, they're here, but they don't listen. I don't understand. And uh, Jesus also say that uh, no one comes to the Father except through me, right? Yes. But nevertheless, he didn't say that you now you saw me and then you go home and sleep and then surely you go to heaven. No, right? He tell you self cultivation, right? Love your father. Love my commandment. Pray in the closet. Love your neighbor. Why? Oh, it's a lot of the book. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ah, it is not that he says, okay, now you saw me, Jesus, and you surely go to heaven. No. He didn't say that. Huh? Sometimes even to his relatives. He said, who, who is my relatives? Who is my mother? Who is my sister? Only the one who, who, who does the, the, the will of the Father is my relatives, my mother, my sister. Remember? Huh? When his mother and sister came to see him, and people reported to him, he even neglected them for a while at least. He said, oh, I have no relatives except you, you know, those who do the, the will of the Father, who love their neighbor, yeah, and who keep the commandments, who love the Father uh, with all the heart, the soul, and the mind, etc., etc. Remember? Huh? So, and even Jesus, before he became the world leader, spiritual leader, he had to go into the closet and meditate and pray, you know what I mean? And he even had to undergo the humility of baptism. You know, even though if he knew he was a son of God, he wouldn't have done that. You know what I mean? But still, he has to go through everything like us. So to show us that when we're human beings, we must work. Huh? And he, he tells his disciples, go out and spread the gospel, right? He said, whatever I tell you in secret, you go and preach on the housetop. But don't, don't give birth to the swine. Huh? Is that also? <laughs> yeah, he also said that not everyone can accept his teaching. Mostly in, in any in any in any gen in any generation, is that right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any period of time of our earth, the people who, who truly love God are very rare. Very rare. Yes. And there are also different level of God as well, see? And different level of our being. And as long as we are in this world, if we do not learn to understand the issue of spirituality, then when we go to heaven, even though we go to heaven, because the love of the Father is immense, yes, you will not discriminate, really. You love him, fine. You don't love him, he loves you. Yes. But still, then we go up there, we don't develop. You know what I mean? And we're still the way we were before. Selfish, stupid angel. Hmm? Oh, I'm not always angels. <laughs> That's why they have to come here and don this uh, physical uh, remnant. Is that what you say? Clothes? Yeah, remnant? Yes. In order to study, to learn how to love others, how to do the service, instead of just sit there and enjoy the bliss of heaven all the time. And now, we are given the opportunity to study in this school of life. If we do not, take this opportunity and learn well, then we will be very regretful in heaven. You know what I mean? No one else will tell you anything. You yourself, look back at your life. At that time, it will be very clear to you, like a mirror. And then you will feel very, very, very sorry that you were so weak, that you were so lazy, that you were so uh, attached to the material things that the Father gave you but only as a tools so that you can progress. Is that you cling to these tools and forget the mission, forget what you are here for. That's why many souls are wandering around in the transmigration. They're earthbound. 
because they're so much attached to this world, even though the gates of heaven are always open. But we don't want to go back. You know what I mean? Yes. Many people who have been uh, having not any kind of particular meditation or anything, you know, but they fear God, fine. They also abide the law of heaven and they try to be good. And they're truly a kind of a, a loving, kind, easy going folk, it's all right. Then, of course, at the time of their final departure, they will also go to heaven. And the Father will be also there to embrace them. Or not embrace them. Not, it's not necessary that they can always see the Father. Actually, we can only learn the purpose of creation if we try to do our best in the earth. You know, Then we will be given the opportunity to understand the creation the whole completely. Sometimes we will be shown just a part of the creation, creation uh, program, and that we know a little, a left corner only. And then sometimes we are shown completely. That is the grace of God. So many people, sometimes they have experience. For example, they meditate, okay? Not necessarily meditate with us, you know, or maybe in another kind of meditation, like they, uh, they probably sit in quiet prayer, you know, very sincere. Prayer is always, always beautiful and always useful, and our prayers will always be answered, but only if they are sincere and from the heart. Not that every day you flip and flop the Bible and then say, Father in heaven, hallowed by your name, please give me your bread, please give me your water, please give me everything. And amen. Thank you very much. <laughs> you know what I mean? The, the most sincere prayer always comes from the heart. When you are truly, truly have no other motive in your heart. You know what I mean? When you truly, you could not, if you don't pray, you, you, you cannot bear it. That is a true prayer. And God always answers this prayer. Because God is powerful. Almighty. There's nothing that he cannot do. Or she cannot do. Minus. <laughs> it's all right in that case. You know what I mean? It's just that we don't have enough power of sincerity. That's why many of our prayers are not answered. And we think God is not there. Ah, that's the trouble. Poor old man. Yeah. God blame for everything. <laughs> yes. And all this war and disaster and hungry and all these things. We just blame it on God or the hierarchy of heaven that don't help us. Truly, it's our choice, the choice of the people who goes against the will of heaven and the law of the universe. These people will make war and listen to the negative force in the nature. We will call Satan huh? or devil. Yeah? They're always there. That's how the world stays in balance. That's how the negative world, this world, stays in balance. In the heavenly world, there's no need for this negative force to exist. You know what I mean? In heaven, there's no good, no bad. And people sometimes do not think of sin the way we do. They don't condemn you. Yes. So at the time of death, sometimes it's you who condemn yourself. And you will be very regretful that you did not do the best. They should have done the other way. You know you should have, but you did not do. And that is what will torment you after your death, and that's what makes people call hell. Understand? There's no God who stay there and pass judgment. It's just that at the time of death, you'll be shown the uh, low level, okay? That is, if we did not uh, practice any truly in our repentance, and that we did not truly lead a virtuous life the way it has to be, and then we'll be shown a kind of a, like uh, like movies, uh, but so fast, so fast that the whole lifetime going just a few second even, and then you 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 will see everything. But you understand, even in such a quick quick speed, you understand everything that you have done, what is wrong, what is right. You you know everything, and then at that time you will cry you will know that you have done wrong, and you will not be given the opportunity again. 
you know what I mean? A very, very long, long time. Because there's so many are waiting to come to be human beings. And you are a long way on awaiting this. Because you already been given the opportunity. That is what the so-called eternal hell or eternal, you know what I mean?